What is up guys, my name is SagaDK and for this video I'm gonna be going through the different weapons and what animals they are used for. Now, if we're gonna take a quick look at these different rifles, we're gonna start from the bottom actually, just because this makes it easier. Once I've set an animal, this animal is fine to hunt with all the other weapons that I'm gonna mention. At least of the specific kinds, like rifles or handguns. Now, starting off with the Rangemaster 338, which is pretty much similar to running around with a cannon on your shoulders. This is the most powerful weapon in the game, and it is only usable to shoot Rosewald Elk, Moose and European Bison if you want the full integrity. Of course you can shoot anything with it, but uh, you're pretty much just gonna blow everything into bits if you shoot it on anything else. If you don't need the full integrity though, I can advise just shooting whatever you see with it because it kills stuff quickly. This is a weapon class 4. Now on to weapon class 3, the 7mm Regent Magnum. This weapon is used for shooting black bear, I just said black bear, black bear and red deer, as well as the other species that the 338 is good for. Moving on to weapon class 2, here we have the Coachmate Lever Action 45, 70 and the 270 rifle. This one is good for shooting whitetail and wild boar as well as the other ones. On to weapon class 1, which is the Whitlock Model 86 and the Ranger 243. This one is pretty much usable for shooting any animals in the game and I have videos of me shooting pretty much everything with the 243, which makes it very easy to go grind money if that is what you're in it for. But the 243 and the 3030 is usable for shooting anything but Red Fox. The only rifle you can use for full integrity on Fox is the 223. And there is two types of bullets for each of the rifles, there's the soft point bullets and the polymer tip bullets. Now if we pay attention to the 338 soft point bullets, you have a lot of expansion, not that much penetration. If you go for the polymer tip bullet instead, you have a lot more penetration and a lot less expansion. This kinda doesn't matter too much, at least I've not found it to be the big factor if I'm killing stuff or not. I tend to go with the polymer tip myself, cause I, I think it's easier for me to get spine and neck shots in this game with them. And yes, I said neck and spine. Now, if you didn't know that, I'm pretty sure you're not subscribed here, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Quickly on to the handguns. Same as before, we're starting off with the biggest one, which is the Rhino 454. Now, this one actually counts as a weapon class 3, so it is good to hunt anything the 7mm works on as well. So we have the Black Bear, Red Deer, Roswell Elk, Moose and European Bison. The 44 is good for anything like the 270 is good for. So we have Whitetail and Wild Boar along as the other species I mentioned before. And the 357 is actually good to shoot anything in the game. However, I would really not recommend you to go shoot anything but Coyotes, Rodeas and Red Fox with this gun, because it is just not killing anything. On to shotguns. Now, the thing with the shotguns, they are actually able to shoot any animals for full integrity. You just have to use the proper shotgun ammo. You have bird shots, box shots, and slugs. Same goes for the arrows, for the bows. There are two different bows. And once again, you just find the fitting weapon class to the game you're gonna be hunting. This was a very brief video and I'm super excited for the upcoming console release. I think it's gonna bring a lot of new people to the game and I really do hope everyone is gonna have an awesome journey hunting in this game. I've spent more than 200 hours in here and it has been an absolute pleasure. Just looking at the environment and everything going on, it is amazing. If you have any other things that you would like me to cover, don't hesitate to leave them down below and I'll see if I can get to them. I do read each and every comment I get on the channel, so keep it up guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it and check out one of the other awesome videos on the screen right now.